Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and handmade products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for supporting my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at thescraftworks for more sneak peeks and ongoing projects. This month's soap challenge is the clamshell challenge. It is taught by our guest teacher Terry. She is such a talented soap maker, always creating amazing soaps and designs. Don't forget to visit her YouTube channel at Tree Marie Soap Works for her amazing work. I have decided to enter the regular category this month, creating clamshells using half batch soap. As you can see, after mixing the light solution with the melted oils at room temperature, I have mixed it into an emulsion. For this technique, controlling trace is very important, so I have used my own trusted formula and made sure that I didn't overblend. After hand whisking, I have used my stick blender to help, only pulsing the stick blender. I then add my essential oil blend of lavender, tea tree and orange essential oils, giving it a final mix using the stick blender. Once everything is fully incorporated, I separated the batch into three equal portions. Making sure I have contrasting colours, I'm colouring the portions using kaolin clay, pink clay and activated charcoal. I am only hand mixing the colourants into my soap and not using a stick blender making sure I don't accelerate the trays anymore as Terry has taught us. I then walked away to let the soap thicken by itself. After 5-10 to 10 minutes, the soap consistency is about right, not too thick and still runny to pour. Originally, I wanted the design to have three colours, so I'm pouring the black soap and the pink soap on each side of the pitcher, but as you can see, I got too aggressive here, thinking I can pour everything at once. Now the uncoloured batter would not really show up in the face of the design. For this design, we need to set our mould on a slant and pour from three points on the shorter side of the mould. For my design, I'm going to pour on the right, the left, and in the middle. In the process, it's important to give it a wiggle to create the pattern of a clamshell. I didn't particularly count on each pour and just went with the flow. I then just continued pouring on the same three points in the same order. Once the clamshells stop to move further away, reduce the slant of the soap mold to keep pouring. One thing I could have improved the clamshell technique and the design is that for the right, I should pour on the side of the mold rather than in the corner. As you can see, the clamshell on the right side is slightly slanted. When the batter runs out, I poured more of the black and pink soap again on each side of the pitcher as I've done before. As the trays get thicker, the clamshells become bigger. This is such an interesting technique. The design changes with your trays. I'm now reducing the slant of the soap mold again. After all the soap batter has been poured, remove all the slants and then I covered the soap and insulated the soap. I then cut the soap after 2 days, cutting the soap horizontally. I actually found that my soap would have turned out well if I had done the advanced category with the full batch pour. Planing the soap to get rid of any soda ash and making sure the design shows. I also gave it a quick steam. Here's the final look of the soap. I'm quite happy that I got the design with my first go. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.